Hello, welcome back. Today, I would like to show you a simple way to customize your iOS 14. So, especially on dock and icon. So, with the icon, you can add a shadow into it. And with the dock, you can have a nice color here. So, you can see I have got neon on my dock here. So, with a gradient color. Now, in order to do it, you can just simply go to Safari. And for the link, you can find from my video description. I put it down there. And then you can scroll down a bit. So before you proceed this process, make sure you read the note first. As the developer said that he only tested on his iPhone 11, but I have tested on my iPhone 8. It did work very well. So um, I, I think that as long as you have notch device, it worked very well. Now you will need um, two shortcuts that you will need to add to your, your shortcuts app. So for the first one, you need Depth Downloader. And then you need um, add depths. So I'm gonna click on depths downloader here. And then it will redirect me into shortcuts. So I can just scroll all the way down. And then I can click on allow untrusted shortcut. Click on replace because I have already downloaded it before. And now it is replaced. Now I can just go back to Safari again. And I can download add depths. I can click on this one. Now it will redirect me into shortcuts again. So scroll all the way down and hit on allow untrusted shortcut. Click on replace. Now um, on your shortcut, you're going to see um, tools shortcut available that we have just downloaded at the moment. Now first, you need to click on depth downloader. Hit on OK. And it is going to download um, the wallpaper that you need to use. After that, hit on OK one more time. Hit on OK. And you're going to see the message. So the wallpaper has been, has been downloaded. And I can just go back and I can go to Files. And then I can click on iCloud Drive. And make sure you go to Shortcuts. And you're going to see this wallpaper. So you can set the wallpaper that you like. So I can click on this button. Click on the Share button here. And then I can um, click on Sell Image. And after I have saved my image, I can just go back to my photo. And then I can click on the last wallpaper that I have just saved at the moment. And then I can click on the Share button. Scroll all the way down. You're going to click on Use as Wallpaper. And then make sure you zoom all the way out. Just like that. Hit on Set. And I'm going to set it as my home screen wallpaper. Now when I go back, you can see we have a nice color on dark, but how you can add a shadow into the icon. So now um, follow on the next step. So let let me go to let me go back to shortcut, and then I can just click on add depth, and then I can select um, between dark or light and or neon. So neon it is the uh, it is the combination between icon shadow and between the dark that I have just show you at the moment. So I'm going to click on with neon, then hit on OK. Hit on OK one more time. And then you should be able to pick the wallpaper from your camera roll. So you can set your custom wallpaper. So I'm going to select on this one. Just like that. Hit on OK. And now the wallpaper has been saved. So I can just go back here. And I'm going to go back to my camera roll. And then I can swipe to the last wallpaper here. And I can click on the share button. And then I can just scroll down a bit. So that set it as my wallpaper. Zoom all the way out. Then set it as my home screen wallpaper here. Now you can see um, with my icon here, I have um, the shadow be behind my icon. And including the duck. So it is very awesome. So thanks for watching. And then I will see you guys in the next one.